Attention, this tutorial is for educational purposes only. Hello everyone, Dynamic Operations again bringing you another tutorial. Um, and this time I'm going to show you how to get Keynote version 5.1.1, I believe, for your Mac. So what you want to do first is you want to go into your browser. But I already have the page open, so I'm just going to go over here. And in your browser, you want to go to macappfans.org. It'll bring you to this page. You don't need to sign in, log in, sign up, log in, or anything like that. Just go up to the search bar up here and type in Keynote Search. And once it loads, it should be the top result. There we go. So you just click here. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. Now you can get 5.3, but it's not a uh, secure link yet, so I recommend just getting 5.1.1. And I use Freak Share. So what you have to do now is you have to wait for that. It's not going to be that long for you, but this is, uh, I already have it downloading right now. So I'll see you guys when it's done downloading, and I'll show you what to do from there. We are back, and the file has downloaded. We have Keynote here downloaded. And as you can see, the timer from earlier is still going. So it was about an 8-minute download for me. So it's not too bad. If you just like do other stuff while you're waiting, it's not too bad at all. Um, so we open it up, and it should open up pretty quick. Let's just wait for that. And then you click open. Do, 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 do. Should do some downloading or something like that. You gonna open or what? Come on. Let's go. Okay. Um, and you don't want to update because then uh, it'll ruin the thing. So you so click do not show this message again and don't update now and close and then this is keynote it's all ready for you just gonna make you a white template just so you can see that it is working and it is all good there we go it is working just gotta do a little load in here because when I'm recording, it is not working very well. And I will see you guys in the next tutorial when we do some more stuff. Bye.